Aloha guys, Molly here from Discover the Big Island Real Estate. I'm here with my friend Kate and we're going to be talking about uh, moving to the Big Island and moving specifically to Pahoa. Kate is a business owner, she's a business owner, she's a go-getter lady that opened up shop in beautiful uh, Hawaii. She's the owner of Breathing Space Hawaii and she's an artist at heart. She has transitioned successfully um, to the island. So today we're going to be talking about those uh, things. If you guys feel free to go ahead and share your comments, uh, ask any questions you might have for myself and for Kate. Kate, welcome. And thank you so, so much for taking on this interview. Sure. No worries. <laughs> it's my pleasure. So Kate, um, how was your transition to Hawaii and how did you find this island? I have an understanding you're moving from uh, North Carolina, correct? Yeah, that's right. So in, in 2020, um, at the height of COVID, <laughs> we um, decided that we were going to move um, to Ho the Big Island. And what brought us here was that we went on vacation um, and stayed here for a week, you know, several years ago, and just really fell in love with the island, the people, just the, the feeling, you know, when we got, we stepped out of the airport in Kona, and I looked at my husband and said, we are moving here one day. <laughs> and so we had an opportunity. And unfortunately, it was because of some health issues. Um, mm -hmm. I was actually diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer oh. in 2019. And while I'm doing great, my treatment's working. It's wonderful. You know, you, when you really end up in that kind of situation, it makes you realize, hey, life is too short. Right. You really have to go after your dream. And so... You know, I worked for Bank of America for 20 years Wow! and I really, you know, we just, there's, there's a certain amount of stress that comes with, you know, working in corporate life. And so we really wanted to take the opportunity to retire early, but of course, since, you know, I'm a go-getter <laughs> and I'm so used to being so busy, I, I really wasn't suited for semi-retired life. I really right. needed to start something, you know, that would keep me busy. Um, I got into art and started doing acrylic pore painting and was producing so much art. Um, a lot of my friends said, hey, you have to share this with the world. Um, and so it just blew up from there. <laughs> um, and so it's been, a, it's been a really fun transition. And I really feel um, that this is home now you know, with having our house and, um, and the business running, I think this is where we're going to be for a really long time. That is so beautiful, Kate. And thank you so, so much for sharing. And I, you know, for the people watching, you know, a lot of people have it in their bucket list to move to Hawaii and did exactly what you just did. Um, right. but I'm so happy that, you know, things happened, you know, in your life to where you were able to position yourself on the Island open up shop and kind of follow your dream, you know, jumping yeah, from corporate to just doing art, which you do so beautifully. Uh, we're going to be showcasing your work um, also on this on this interview so that people can see the work that you do and the in the beautiful pouring acrylic pourings that you do on on canvases. And you also have products, you know, that you're selling. But, uh, right. you know, to dive deep into that passion is just such uh, uh, inspirational. Yeah. And I think Part of the reason why I was so encouraged to do it is that, you know, I, I just love in Hawaii, there's the culture of Ohana, you know, even adopted right. Ohana. And so any friends that we made, we happened to, you know, make some good friends who were already vending, um, you know, at Maku'u Farmer's Market at the Hilo Market. Right. And so they really encouraged me, you know, to do that. And they partnered, partnered with me, gave me advice, you know, and so now I'm at, at Maku'u Farmer's Market every Sunday. <laughs> and so, and we do, I do a lot of specialty uh, markets as well. If there's, if there are specific ones, mm -hmm. um, my art is also in, um, at one gallery in Hilo and at firehouse gallery in, um, Waimea. So it's super exciting. And I just, I feel like it's wonderful to have this community of artists and vendors, you know, that I interact with all the time. And they've really, they've really become our Ohana. I love it. And you know what? In the fact, oh, we have uh, people uh, watching and they're uh, putting thumbs up. So thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you for the hearts <laughs> and thumbs up that you guys are giving us on this live stream. Uh, she's such an inspirational lady. But not only that, 
Um, she's using her creativity to, um, you know, of course, you pull inspiration from the from the Aina, right, from Earth and the environment. I'm yeah. pretty sure that is also uh, kicking in your creative juices, right? You're going and oh, yeah. you're seeing Absolutely. beautiful things. Yeah, I mean, even the, um, you know, even the recent Mauna Loa eruption, you know, I ended up doing several paintings that are not ready to be shown yet, but, but there's definitely inspiration there. And then, of course, the landscapes, you know, how there's so many different climate zones and and also the flora. It's just, I mean, there's so much inspiration here. Right. You know, we really, I mean, that's exactly why I named my business Breathing Space Hawaii, is I really wanted to you know, share with the world how beautiful our island is. Right. You know, you know what? We have a couple of comments that are coming in. Don Clark, okay. which is a client that we are uh, closing on his property very, very soon. So thank you, Don, for watching this video. He says, same, same for my wife and I. I'm also a cancer survivor. We visited the island for three weeks last Christmas and knew our future would include moving to paradise. Yeah, that's amazing, wow. Don. <laughs> you and I are, you know, so, you know, connected by with that experience. For sure. Right. Well, hey, Don, you know, now that you guys are moving here soon, you guys can probably connect with Kate and, and you guys can talk story, as they say here in Hawaii. But thank you so, so yeah. much for watching. And we, we are, we're, we're talking soon. <laughs> um, also, let's see. Nancy, she says, Aloha from Oklahoma. <laughs> Oh, wow. Thank you so, so much for watching, Nancy. Yes. So, um, you know, your your journey has been so, so interesting. So you have also moved in with pets, which um, it's it's a task of its own. Do you mind right. expanding a little bit more on that? How did you move with your pets to the island? Because that's a question that we get very frequently in, in, right. in, in the group. Yeah. Well, first, we tried to make things as simple as possible for us. We actually ended up um, selling everything in North Carolina and coming over with six suitcases. So it's me, my husband, and our son, Spencer. Mm. And um, we did have two dogs. And so one large dog who was 80 pounds <laughs> and uh, a small dog. So Sierra is the large one. Rocky is the small one. Of course, they're part of our family. There was no way we were going to leave them on the main line, on the mainland. Right. And we had read how complicated it was. You know, there's a lot of steps that you have to go through. And I understand that it's an island. You don't want to bring rabies over. And so it was very important to us to make sure we followed the rules. Right. Unfortunately, it was very complicated. And, you know, it's so stressful to move in the first place. And so we made the decision to, to hire island pet movers mm. to, you know, do the entire process for us. And that was such a relief. Um, you know, they were able to handle all the paperwork. You know, they told us, here, you drop off the pets at this airport, and then they will come out in kilo, <laughs> you know, and it was all good. So I think that was, it was such a relief to have that. And and the pets were safe. You know, they were happy when they, when they saw us. So I think, you know, that's definitely a must. If, you know, if you have to navigate it, it is absolutely worth it to hire a service. Right. And Island Pet Movers is definitely recommended. Kate, I love, love that you're you're bringing light into this issue because, uh, I mean, not to call it an issue, but, you know, some clients, when they have very busy lives, right, like yours, you have so many moving pieces and you're also adding to become an expert on moving your pet to an island because there, <laughs> there's so many. <laughs> you got to sometimes need a PhD on this. Um, yes. You know, delegating, right? Say, you know what, yeah. pet, pet island movers, go ahead and take care of this for me, please. Yes. And then yeah. make sure then you have someone that is accountable that have done this multiple times. And I say, I say this to all of my clients when they're moving with pets, hire out. Don't take this on. Yeah. Some some are go getters and they want to go through the through the whole process. Uh, but I'm so glad that you that you are uh, that you delegated. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And honestly, people, honestly, people might think that, you know, hey, it's an extra expense, but it's absolutely worth it. You it know, I mean, by time, the time you're trading. Exactly. And by the time you do things like, you know, book the flight, find an airline that's actually going to fly your pets, you know, and then you end up paying extra. So it's kind of, you know, it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it for peace of right. mind. 
and then you have peace of mind, which is worth, yeah. uh, which is, which is worth everything. So let's right. see, Mar Ohana, it says Mar Ohana. Let me see if you see it. Oh, you, you can now see it. Yeah. Mar Ohana Goldens, Aloha from Bimut, California. We really enjoy your show, they say. Oh, thank oh. you for watching. Thank you for watching, Mar Ohana. I love your, uh, your Ohana your Ohana name. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and add another uh, comment here to the broadcast. It says, lived in Pune for six years, a decade ago, and long to move back. I am 72, so I better hurry up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you better Absolutely. do it, girl. We're waiting for you, Nancy. We're yes. waiting for you. So, um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure you guys are enjoying um, you know, living life in, 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 um, in, in Hawaii. So talk to me about how did you guys decided to, mm -hmm. to move to Pahoa specifically when you guys were yeah. looking at properties over from the mainland, how did you choose that specific location and, uh, and, and how have you adapted to living right. in this community? Sure. I think that, um, you know, the very first thing was that the climate. So, my husband just loves rainforest, <laughs> you know, we love the greenery, we love, you know, and we don't mind that it rains a lot. And it's actually, it's actually very manageable. Right. Um, we also, we also love the kind of small town feel, of course, you know, um, we know all of our neighbors um, and we knew it was going to be, it was going to be like that, you know, just right. from exploring the town. Um, and we also wanted to move someplace that was quieter, you know, while Hilo isn't the biggest, biggest city, no. um, you want to live where the locals live, you know, and you want to, you want to fit in. And so the other thing as well is Pahoa is actually the most affordable area, you know, within, and I'm sure you know this, Molly, you could probably say yes. this better than me. <laughs> um, it is the most affordable area on the big island. There's a yes. lot of opportunity here for real estate. Um, and also you know, we, um, we had got a great deal on a house. It was exactly what we wanted, right. you know, so it all just, it all just worked out. Right. And I'll tell you, we ended up, um, buying sight unseen, which a lot of people <laughs> would think that was nuts. Was now granted. Yeah. Well, now granted we did have, because of technology now with FaceTime and, you know, right. um, being able to do, um, you know, meetups or whatnot, we were, we really relied on our real estate agent right, um, to right. be able to show us the features of the house and to make us feel comfortable, you right. know, when we were, when we were purchasing. So I think that just, that just worked out. Right. And, and you know what, it was the right time. Like you said, I mean, you were coming from 2019 to, oh my gosh, I got to make this happen. Right. Right. For your family. Yeah. And then the right property popped up. You did sight unseen. You're like, okay, we have uh, yeah. homed in on location and you went right. for it. And now you're here with the biggest smile on your face. <laughs> that's that's, right. that's right. what Hawaii does to you guys. Yeah. Truly. I mean, yeah. And I think, you know, one of the things as well <laughs> is I, uh, we, when we purchased this house, we really wanted something that we could um, upgrade. You know, we, right. we wanted to have, since this is going to be our house for a very long time, we wanted the features, you know, to make sure that we were able to um, have all the space we needed, you right. know, and the finish we wanted. And we were lucky enough to hire um, a contractor, Rocky Haynes, and um, he basically gutted our house. <laughs> he built two bathrooms from the ground up, and then um, we did, nice. you know, final plank, which is perfect for this weather, um, and then. And so we were extremely fortunate, you know, to find um, a, a contractor that was such a such an expert in that in that kind of thing. And not only yeah. that, that it was able to work. With, oh, yeah. With, all the yeah. craziness was happening. All the demands of the job. Right. Right. Was happening. Right. So. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. So, yeah, we love our house. I have, I am fortunate enough to have my own studio, you know, so my mess stays in one place. <laughs> and Because uh, I'll tell you, my art is not the cleanest art, you know, given that it's so fluid. beautiful. Katie, you're doing amazing. Yeah. And also Thank guys, so also for the people that are watching, she also offers uh, workshops. These happen on the east side that we're going to be talking mm -hmm. about next. But your art yeah. is so beautiful. So for the people watching, uh, I know we have a couple of, of, of viewers here. We are going to go ahead and showcase your beautiful website. 
Thank let's you. Let's go ahead and go. Boom. There we go. So let's go ahead and check out, look at her work, guys. So this is your Kilauea fire. Yes. Look at this. Yeah, so definitely uh, inspired beautiful. by our volcanoes on the island. Yes. Look at this energize. Wow. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Let's zoom in. Wow. Yeah, your art is, is really beautiful. Your, your, uh, your work with acrylic. Yes. It's very tastefully done here. So let's just go ahead and kind of showcase some of these pieces. I love these. They enhance the room so much. Yes. I think it's, you can tell, of course, I am not afraid of color. So, <laughs> uh, which I think goes with the spirit of Hawaii. You know, we're, right. you know, Hawaii is very colorful. Right. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Also on her site, she also pairs it with product. So if you guys were, Christmas is coming up. <laughs> if you guys yeah. wanted something Hawaii made, uh, this lady is making things happen. You guys can go to the, to the website called Breathing Space Hawaii and check out her artwork and connect with her and check out her products. Uh, let's see. Hapuna Swell. What did he, ooh, this one is Hapuna. Inspired yeah. by Hapuna Beach, I'm assuming, Beach, right? Yes. So I have a painting, you know, that is, um, that is, uh, you know, obviously the printed version of that. Basically right. we scan right. the yeah. painting. Yeah. yeah. And put it on products. Yeah. And so it's, you know, it's another way to add art and color in your home. You know, you don't right. necessarily have to hang it on the wall. You can have art for your couch, <laughs> you know, things like that. <laughs> right. And you know what? The beauty of it all is that you're not, a, you're not only you know, painting and offering your product on the website, but you're also teaching the skill to other people, right? You're yeah. via the workshops. So let's dive right. in into that. I'm going to exit out from this, from this scene. And uh, let's talk about the workshops that you offer and invite people to where they can find you. Sure. So um, I did, I did a couple workshops um, last year. Our next ones are going to start up in, in January. Right. Um, and so we've got, I did it at the, f the first ones we hosted at the um, HPP Community Center, Hawaiian Paradise right. Park here in Kiao. And um, we're look, there's actually a possibility there that there is a, um, another studio in the HPP area that we're looking at for space. Um, there's also, uh, I also have my work in one gallery, like I mentioned, and one gallery does paint and sip nights, you know, with wine and hors d'oeuvres. And oh. so I'm looking at, uh, that could be another possibility as well. Totally. So, you know, I would direct people to visit my website. There is an events section and I'm also very active on social media and, um, and I, I will post on Instagram, Facebook. I'm on TikTok as well. Then <laughs> um, and uh, and, I, and you'll you know you'll definitely follow me on those uh, those social media sites. I will definitely be um, marketing those uh, those particular workshops. Um, in addition to that, uh, since I'm at sell at the Makuu Farmers Market every Sunday, that's another you know another place to sign up. I love that. Which market do you enjoy the most? I would say Makuu. Makuu is my favorite. Um, I think it's, um, there's a lot of locals that go there. We do get a lot of visitors as well, visitors to Hawaii. And there is, you know, there's definitely a lot of local artists, you know, local business owners. Um, you're not going to find very much like things that are made in China. <laughs> you know, you're going to find <laughs> locally made products. Right. Um, right. Food is there too <laughs> so i love that i love that yeah. and you know what for a lot of people that are visiting here it's so important to take you know hawaii made home especially for gifts yeah. when you're gifting uh people you know we yeah. know that a lot of labor and love went into it and it's just not something that was imported right it's made here right so exactly. that's a beauty that you're doing that for the community and then you're also passing on your knowledge and teaching other people on how to create beautiful pieces like the ones that we showcase yeah. And I'll tell you with the workshops, the feedback I get a lot of the time is that it's very, um, it's a little meditative, you know, to do this kind of art. Um, it's not that complicated. You don't need to go to art school. You know, it's really, um, 
it's been, you know, it's like therapy. And I think that that's part of the reason why I took it up is that, you know, with my health challenges, mm. it just, you know, it just keeps me happy and busy. Right. And you know what? And I feel that whenever you're painting, your mind goes somewhere else, right? You're, you focus on the yes. colors and making sure that, you know, you, you, you know where you want to go with the painting and, you know, right. you just, Absolutely. your mind just drifts away. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that is yeah, so beautiful. Right. Well, guys, yes. if you're watching, you know, uh, Kate is amazingly talented. Uh, you know, you you guys now have information on the website. I'll repeat it again. Breathing Space Hawaii. You guys are able to find her work there and also connect with Kate and also on all the social media channels that she's part of. Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. And uh, yeah. but for now, uh, hey, Kate, is there anything else that you would like to share with the audience? Uh, any final words of wisdom? Um, you know, related to whatever you want to share. Yeah, I think if you want to move to Hawaii, do it. <laughs> it is absolutely yeah. worth it. <laughs> it is absolutely worth it. Um, you know, I mean, there are, it's sort of like the, the change in the pace of your life really changes and it makes you appreciate, you know, what you have. And here on the island, community is the biggest thing. And you will be adopted by many aunties. <laughs> and so you don't have to worry about moving here without knowing anybody because the community really embraces everybody. That is so true. That is so, yeah. so true. You know, this island kind of hugs the people that come here, right? Right. And they exactly. hug and they, they don't let you go, right? They, right. You're, you're, <laughs> they embrace people. And so I'm so glad that you're having a positive experience moving to the island and living in beautiful Pahoa. And, uh, yeah. but for now we say aloha. Thank you so, so much for all the hearts and all the people that are watching this video. Um, you know, we got a lot of thumbs up. We got a lot of hearts. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we thank you so, so much for watching, but you know, now you guys have a, another lady to connect with. Um, if you guys, you know, just want to talk story with Kate, she's so personable and so nice. And Kate, mm -hmm. it's been a pleasure talking to you. You got more hearts and more likes. Oh, you awesome. guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, for any, anybody moving here, once you buy your new house, I am happy to work with you on decor. <laughs> oh, I love it. Can you imagine? You know, if you guys get a blank canvas of a house, you know, now you guys have a lady that's that can sell you art so that your yeah. walls can be as beautiful as as everything in Hawaii. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, uh, let's see. We got some comments here. Samantha Carey, she says, Aloha from Kansas City, Missouri. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha, Samantha. Thank you so, so much for watching. And uh, oh, we got here Don Clark. Mahalo. Mahalo, sir. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Um, you know, but thank you so, so much for watching, guys. Um, and, um, and yeah, uh, with this, we say aloha. Unless you guys have anything else to share. <laughs> no, but thank you for watching, guys. And, and we'll, uh, I, I will also leave her website and all of her contact information on the comment section below. So before you, you click out of this video, make sure to check out her site and pick something for the holidays. You know, probably like a, like a, like a mug or something fun for your, for your significant other or family members. Those are so cute, Kate. I love him. Thank you so much, Molly. I really appreciate the opportunity to talk to you. Oh, likewise, Katie. You're such a lovely lady, and I'm super happy for you and for your future and all of your all of the things that you're doing. And it's it's a blessing that you're here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, we say aloha. <laughs>